The Borneo rainforest is the oldest in the world, 130 million years old. That's 70 million years older than the Amazon. Out of the 12 regions of megabiodiversity in the world, Borneo ranks with Amazonia and Equatorial Africa. Borneo lies in the heart of the megabiodiversity ecoregion of the Indo-Pacific Basin and Malaysia. Sabah is special because in terms of biodiversity per unit area, Sabah is the best in Borneo. According to the National Geographic, 10 square kilometers of Malaysian rainforest has more flora and fauna than that of North America and Europe combined. Here, in the Indo-Pacific Global Center of Coral Biodiversity, is the cradle of coral evolution. Beginning with 70 genera in the areas around Borneo, it reduces gradually as one moves outwards. The Coral Triangle, the Amazon of the seas, is the center of marine biodiversity for the world. It is home to one of the most diverse collections of marine life in the world, with over 75% of coral species known to science, over 3,000 species of reef fish, over 500 species of coral. This is unmatched in the world in terms of marine biodiversity per unit area. The Borneo pygmy is the world's smallest elephant. Herds of 30 or more roam the jungles and riverbanks in the east coast. The Sukau area in the lower reaches of the Kinabatangan River has one of the world's richest diversity of flora and fauna, including the proboscis monkey, one of the 10 species of primates found in Sabah. The East Coast is also home to the globally recognized orangutan. The Sapilok Orangutan Rehabilitation Center was established in 1964, making it the first of its kind in the world. Other conservation areas include the Danum Valley Conservation Area, Tabin Wildlife Reserve, and Maleau Basin, the Lost World. The Danum Valley Field Center is both a research and education facility. Borneo is the orchid island of the world, containing more than 10% of the orchids of the world. More than half of these are found in the Kinabalu Park. Other wonderful plants of Sabah include the Nepenthes, or pitcher plant, and the world's largest flower, the Raphalesia. Not surprisingly, the Kinabalu Park is a center of plant diversity for Southeast Asia. Closer to the city of Kota Kinabalu is another treasure trove, the Lokkawi Wildlife Park. Within the city itself is the Likas Wetland, a mangrove reserve visited by hundreds of migratory birds each year. This is a trek of a different kind. It traces part of the route of the infamous death marches during which more than 2,000 Allied prisoners of war died. Several memorials have been put up in honor of those brave men, including the Kundasang War Memorial, close to where the death marches ended, and the Sandakan War Memorial, which sits within what used to be the prisoner of war camp. The unique music of gongs reverberates in many parts of Sabah during the month of May, when Sabah celebrates Pesta Ka'amatan, or Harvest Festival. This is only one of many cultural and religious festivals in this part of Malaysia. On a slightly different note is the annual Regatta Lepa in the otherwise quiet town of Semporna. A celebration of Sabah's rich cultural heritage is held annually and simply named Sabah Fest. The liveliness of Sabah's traditional dances reflects the vibrance of modern life in Malaysia's second largest state. The rapid growth of Kota Kinabalu, the capital city, is also seen in other urban centers in Sabah. Sea walking and other marine activities provide fun and excitement for all ages at Tunku Abdul Rahman Park. The excellent sandy beaches of Sabah are dotted with world-class resorts which provide the perfect combination of modern comforts and natural surroundings. The luxury of both business and leisure in the same place is what brings many group travelers to Sabah. Today, most visitors to Sabah arrive at the Kota Kinabalu International Airport, which has been upgraded to become one of the most modern in Malaysia. Besides Kuala Lumpur, 
There are direct flights to and from many major cities of the world. And I can't think of a better place to spend the happiest part of my year than on a holiday set between the coral reefs and set between the rainforest with the biodiversity of Sava and Mount Kinabalu and the whole particular. This is a theme park. You don't have to build a plastic theme park. You don't need Walt Disney here. You've got a living solar powered theme park. Find out for yourself what more and more travelers around the world are excited about. Come, experience the best of Borneo in Sabah.